Jimmy Hoffa. Um, I would wait outside a hotel room door for Jimmy Hoffa, like seven, eight hours. The cameraman would scream at me, come on. And they'd go, just give it another hour, just one more hour. Finally, he comes out, I'm after him. And uh, got the interview, I don't know how much he said. And at the time, of course, this was Bobby Kennedy's after Hoffa, the Senate committee on crime is after Hoffa. You know, Jack Kennedy, everybody's after Hoffa. And I got him. You know, I don't remember what in the world. I'm not sure it was, I'm not sure there'd be a Pulitzer Award for the interview, but nonetheless, I got him. Jimmy Hoffa was the uh, president of the Teamsters Union of America, one of the most largest and most powerful uh, organized labor associations on earth. The Teamsters could paralyze your state with a strike. And he was accused by Bobby Kennedy, then the Attorney General, and other people of being corrupt, of being a gangster, of breaking the law. And so you had this high-powered Kennedy machine coming down on Hoffa, labor standing next to their man. Uh, it was just a wonderful, wonderful story. They'd drag Hoffa before the cameras and he'd take the fifth. He was, uh, you know, a, a real rogue character, but a, a rogue character with power. I went to a union meeting where he walked in. Oh, you never saw bigger hands clap that furiously. Boy, this was Jimmy Hoff. This is our guy. And he would speak in, uh, he'd speak in uh, third person. You know. They tried to get Jimmy Hoffa the last time I was in Dayton, and they failed to get Jimmy Hoffa. They tried to get him when I'm here this time, and they're never going to get him. And I'm telling them right now, Jimmy Hoffa is going to beat this rap. We're, you know, you talk about Jimmy Hoffa. Uh, oh, was he a character. He was uh, larger than life. And now we're not sure if he's buried in a drum in Key West or... The rumors that he's you know, part of the brickwork of somebody's stadium somewhere, there's all kinds of rumors about. But uh, as the world now knows, and as a piece of 20th century labor history, certainly, the mysterious disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa, who has not been found since.